poor tack start and then went the complete opposite way to everybody else which got me a bit worried for a bit but came good in the end where I crossed the entire fleet and ran to the top mark first and then just sort of tried to keep it upright from there. Uh, Scotty got back past me uh, halfway up the second beat and I uh, managed just to get a good shift and get back in front of him again and uh, yeah luckily take the win. It was tough. It was really tough. I don't think I've ever swallowed so much salt water in my entire life. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned about this stuff, whether I'd have the pace with the big boys, but um, I've seen good upwind and, and I'm happy, you know. I'm pleased that I'm mixing it there. And um, yeah, it's, it's blooming nice. I mean, it's champagne sailing today. It's seriously good fun. Oh yeah, there was a, there was a boat low riding in. And I put a jibe in probably where it was a little bit too tight. and. Um, yeah, put it in, unfortunately. That cost me two places. Um, getting pretty bumpy out here at the moment. I've had uh, a three and two seconds, so uh, pretty happy with that. Boat seems to be holding together, which is always nice, and uh, one more race to go, so got to try and beat Scotty. He's sort of getting away from me a bit in the last two. No, no nerves. Um, just only when I get to the bottom mark, there's some nerves, but as you can see, everyone's crashing at the moment. But um, boat's going well, and body's holding together, and uh, you know, looking forward to another. Another big race in a couple of minutes. I think I had a, a pretty big lead. I rounded just behind Nathan on the first, the first top mark, and then he capsized downwind. And I extended away to a big lead, but um, I think I did four capsizes in the last 100 metres or so, and finished fifth. <laughs> 